In our notes, we generalize the idea of trig ratios to include any angle theta. The idea was this. You would look at the angle theta and a point on the terminal side of that angle. With that, there would be a reference angle, a, a reference right triangle, where this distance r was just the distance from the origin to the point, and each of these sides would be considered directed distances. So in this case, the x value would be negative and the y value would be positive, and of course the r is always just the positive distance. So we define them in, the, in this kind of a way. Let's look at a, uh, an applet that kind of illustrates that. Here I've calculated the sine, cosine, and tangent using this red reference angle. So it, the sine is always going to be the y value divided by this distance r. And there's that distance r that's always calculated there for you. And it's repeated up here. And so on for the for the other two that are there. We can move that anywhere that we want. For example, over here, notice that the x value is negative. The y value is positive, and of course this distance is positive. So there's those calculations. You can play with this app. We'll make it available to you so you can move this wherever you want to calculate each of those different things. So let's talk about what we'll ask you to do when, uh, when you're working with these things. Here's a kind of example sort of thing. We will we will tell you a point on the terminal side. Uh, possibly in this case it's being told to us because they're actually showing us a picture. So notice that the x value is a negative 1, 2, 3, 4 and the y value is 1, 2, 3. So this point is a negative 4, 3. And we're supposed to be able to find each of these uh, trig ratios. Um, here's what I would expect you to write on, on an exam. I'd expect you to begin by, by doing this, of course, in legacy style. So I'd expect you to, to draw a picture that helps us orient where things are. In this case, our point is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So there's our point. Now let's look at our reference uh, triangle. The reference triangle is going to be right here. And because we know this point is a negative 4, 3, negative 4, 3, excuse my sloppy writing, then this directed distance is negative 4. This directed distance is a positive 3. And we can find this length. It's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus a negative 4 squared is the same as a 4 squared. And so that's going to be uh, the square root of 25, which is going to be 5. Okay, that turned out to be really, really nice. This is a Pythagorean triple in this particular case. So depending on which one of these we're supposed to, to find, we would carefully write down the sine of alpha, we're using alpha to describe the angle here, would be equal to 3 over 5. Whereas the cosine of alpha would be equal to a negative 4 over 5. Okay? And so in this case, we we'll just enter those uh, particular values in here. Remember that this one was a positive 3 over 5, and this one was a negative 4 over, over 5. We can check our answers.
Oh, wahoo, we got them right. Okay, that's the idea.